it's me it's me what's up peeps welcome back how you doing how you been It's me, Sadia, and we have a new type of video for you today. N not new from what you haven't seen already, but new from me, and I'm excited. We have for today is a baby clothing and shoe haul. I've picked up little pieces here and there, but nothing where it was like, you know, I've ordered everything all at once and no i didn't get the chance to have that you know like the moment that we announced that he was here um and not complaining about it at all but the moment his grandparents his relatives his you know family friends have all somehow created their own haul for us um including blessing us during our baby shower so we personally never were able and i mostly was never able to have my own like haul clothing haul for him so i'm going to share it with you because i'm excited and i love opening packages it's like christmas except right now it's not for me it's for my babies clothing haul is not at all sponsored i paid for all this with my hard-earned money because your girl ain't getting no sponsorships out here just yet uh fingers crossed maybe one day hopefully because yeah <laughs> i'm here sponsor me hi let's get into the video we have clothes from carter's we have clothes from the children's place and then i have three pairs of shoes we're gonna start with the package from carter's first things first we have this hair this cute pajama set brought to you by carter's in the size of six months my son is currently three months going into four so you're probably thinking why would you get that when that's not his size well if you don't know already mainly babies you know like they grow really fast and you always want to get sizes that are kind of like months ahead of them because they grow really fast and i'm learning for myself like he was growing out of his three months clothes before he even turned three months. So when I started shopping for him, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, we're going for six months because he's going to fit into everything eventually. Like he can fit into this somewhat. It'll still feel baggy, but he'll fit into it eventually. Gray and navy blue. It has a, a variety of animals on it. It's kind of weird. Cause it's like safari farm and just i think aquatic animals are in here too we have lions we have cows we have turtles we have zebras cool <laughs> doesn't have like the other onesies that i'm used to with the hand covering but this will do as long as his feet are covered at night mainly because we use ac in the house so i always want my baby to be warm here we have another one this one has more of like the safari animals on it it's this nice like blue color i'm not even sure what you would co call this type of color blue is it like an aqua blue i think so it's like an aqua blue it's really cute again it has the footies also in size six months it doesn't have the hand covering which i'm sad about because you know my son like going to sleep he likes to put his hand in his face a lot and kind of like dig into his skin if you know whether or not at what age kids grow out of clawing themselves please let me know i need help but yeah it also has like a button down which is time consuming and i know that but it's okay you know like at the end of the day i just want him to be warm i want him to be looking cute when he goes to sleep like who doesn't the pajama onesie we have is this one right here that just has a little dinosaur buddy here on the side and you know i really liked the color of this i don't know <laughs> it's just it's just so cute to me like it's really cute it's also in six months it doesn't have the hand covering like even if he let's say we happen to turn the ac off and he's sitting in this pajama set still he won't be so hot which is good he'll just be you know like comfortable real comfortable it's airy 
And yeah, now we're gonna get into the rompers he has. And first we have this romper here that has white, navy, like a dusty pink, baby blue. It's really cute. Like I really, really, really love this. When I saw it, I was just like, oh my God, this screams summertime to me and he's gonna look so cute. It has little buttons on here. Um, it has this collar type that I really like. I really like this collar type for shirts. Um, I don't know why. I just think it looks good on men. And like now, little boys and babies, it looks so nice. It's just so cute. It's kind of like, it's kind of like looking real, you're looking real sharp without even trying, you know, when you have little details like this in your clothing. So I really like it. Then we have this romper here that has like little fishes. It has a boat. It has the anchor sign, which I really love personally. Um, it has little lobsters on it and it's navy mostly. It also has the collar type that I was telling you about and the buttons and it has a little pocket here. It's so cute so 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 cute and this romper is so cute i i love like this pattern he actually has a onesie with the same uh pattern like the same look of this and i just like it i like it so much because it has like different colors within the you know within the outfit which is really cute we have green we have navy we have red we have yellow we have little hints of gray and baby blue in there. So it's just really cute. And this is so cute to me because it, it comes with pockets. It's not like he's gonna be using it, but it has like a little look to it. It's all about the details, isn't it? It's, it's little things that stand out to me that I like in my very own clothing and I like it on my baby too. So guys, this is um really 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 cute it's like simple but not so much you know it's really cute um we have it's in baby blue with white stripes we also have like a little taxi in the middle well i'm assuming it's yellow i mean i'm assuming it's yellow i'm assuming it's a taxi because it's yellow yes got it so it also has like green mirrors to it and the license plate if you can see says too cute for you I think that that's so cute. Again, like, who spends time looking at details like this in clothing? I do. And, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I really like it because it's little things like this that really stand out. And I have people who have complimented me on things that he wears already or things that I wear when it's like the, the simplest things that you would think nobody would notice, people notice in your clothing. There's buttons, of course, on the bottom to latch on and it's short sleeve. And now we have some shorts for baby boy. Um, these are some navy shorts that I got for him. Also in six months, this is really cute. It stretches. It has strings that actually work because a lot of the baby clothes, the clothes that has pockets and stuff on it, he could actually put little stuff in there or I could hide something in there, maybe like a dollar or something in there. The point is, is that it fits, it works. These also come with pockets and they're pretty deep, believe it or not. The strings come with a detailing on it too. It has like a diagonal going down and it's navy and I like it, really cool. Oh, I didn't even realize it says it too. It says functional draw cord. And we have the same shorts, but in like a coral color. And these are so, so, so cute to me. Like, tell me these shorts don't scream summertime to you because they do to me. And that's why I got it. And that's why my son will be rocking these this summer. So cute. Again, like you could even see the detailing of the pockets more. Like you can see how deep they made them to be, which is really cute so so cute no pockets in the back or nothing it's just really cute and i love these so much i love the color and so that's what we got from carter's now we're gonna move on into the children's place if you want to buy clothes to last within those couple of months they have the perfect sizing for it so everything else that i got from children's place were pretty much onesie sets and we're gonna get into it right now so First, we have this one here. So, it's like mostly green and yellow in this set. Again, I wanted to get him more colors 
for the summertime and just in general like i want his wardrobe to have more colors all that gray and blue stuff is it was getting boring it was it was getting real boring so i was just like you know what let me find something that's more colorful for my baby and so we had this first onesie here with two giraffes which are so cute i love giraffes and it says what's up dad it's the little giraffe talking to the big giraffe which is so cute we have this onesie here that has different animals it has crocodiles or alligators i can never really tell the difference between the two Shh, don't tell but yeah so it has that it has rhinos it has giraffes again and it has little iguanas chilling on a rock so cute then it has like a regular, I think this is plain. Yeah, it's a plain one, not really plain. It has stripes, but you know, it doesn't have nothing graphic on it. It's gray with white stripes. This one has like a leafy print on it with different shades of green, which is really, really cute, I thought. And then he has this one, I'll flip it around. He has this one here that says just chilling with mommy. So cute. So we have this in size three to six and i hope he loves them you know like he doesn't really have a choice does he <laughs> it's we have is also with green but it's more green and gray and white so the first one says king of the family with a lion here i'm big on you know safari animals mostly lion no big on safari animals for my son a uh, background story for myself my favorite movie is lion king my son's baby shower theme was lion king slash safari and it was like so dope so i kind of carry it on though because i just feel like it fits him in so many ways like so when i see things like with lions or just any safari animal i just love it for him like i literally have to get it i just have to get it because i don't know it's just it's just something that sticks you know so yes it says king of the family very cute and it's in gray here this is so cute tell me this shirt is it cute it's so cute it's white with palm trees and on some of the palm trees we have either a monkey or a koala bear so freaking cute it's so cute let me change sides this shirt has green different shades of green and it has like a lion doing like different facial expressions which is really cute and it has leaves and like <laughs> i guess this is supposed to be grass so it's really cute i like it my favorite animal is an elephant by the way not that you asked me or anything but i'm gonna tell you so this is a gray onesie with elephants on it and attached to the elephant I don't know if you could see, but it's a koala on the trunk of the elephant, which is cool. It kind of represents like friendship. And I like that stuff, you know? Try to teach my baby little things every day. So that's a that's a good message already. And here's the last onesie on this set. And it's in white and with a lion, of course, and it says, Mommy says I'm aurorable. That is so cute. Come on now. This one now, as you can see, compared to the other two that I got him, these have a good amount of colors to it, right? Which I love. Again, it's summertime and just in general. Like you want, you want colors, you want bright, you want something that stands out. Duh. So we have this one here, which is a coral. And it says little dude the lettering is in navy and it has hints of like different shades of blue so like an aqua blue and baby blue to like enhance the dude so cute so so cute and we're gonna flip it up we have this onesie here that also has leafy print like something I guess like two of them no like one of the other ones that you've seen before except this one is mainly blue and it has like a splash of green leaves flip we have this one here that's like basically all about summertime. It's mostly in gray and it has like little hints of summer uh, symbols. 
so to speak. So we have like surfboards, we have cars with the surfboard on top, we have flip flop, no, these are sunglasses. We have palm trees, we have the flip flops here, also has beach balls. I love detailing, I love graphic tees and it's just, come on, it's too cute. Then we have this onesie here and the collar is in navy. The collar is in navy and the shirt is like a Hmm. This is more of an aqua. Yeah. This shirt is like an aqua blue and it has like a deeper a deeper blue shade into it like for the coloring. So cute. So cute. If I'm saying these colors wrong, I'm sorry. This is just like the first thing that comes to mind, but I'm pretty sure this is aqua color. So cute. And it's like a flowering kind of like it gives you like Hawaii vibes the the way the flower print is and then we have the last shirt which I have to flip around for it's in white and it says mommy's ray of sunshine which he totally is and I remind him that every day and night because he is so I love shirts that give the message too because when people read it it's like yes that's what he is and that's what he always will be Period. has little palm trees well one palm tree it has a surfboard leaning against it. it has a surfboard leaning against it it has a beach ball here and then like it's kind of the sun setting which is so cute so cute it's the little things you know like makes simple tees and onesies just pop that was it for the clothes now let's get into his shoes that i bought him now, yeah, I know I love to ramble, right? But I gotta tell you before you start judging me, and even though I don't care, you might judge me anyway. So here, let me explain to you that his sneakers, right? I thought I got them in the right size, but I didn't. But you know, eventually he'll fit into them anyway. Some of some of the sneakers that I'll show you, I got intentionally to fit in a bigger size, and I'll explain to you why when I get to those. I got him a pair of Converse's, and I kind of feel like it's traditional because when I was a baby, apparently my mom would get Converse's all the time. So I got him a pair of, and they, these are the crib booties in size three. And it's the high top navy converses. They do come with laces. It's not like a strap, it's not a strap on or nothing. So it's like, I feel like it's so cute. Like, yes, I'm gonna have to go through some work to tie his shoes when he could fit into this, but I just figured like, they look realistic. Like, am I the only one who doesn't like certain crib booties? Cause it just looks like they putting on a sock. I can't be the only one. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, these are so cute. Of course, they still have the soft bottoms. I guess when they wear hard bottom shoes in the very beginning, it can affect the way they begin to walk. So, you know, safety first. I wanna do all things right by my son the best that I can. And they're safe because they're soft bottoms. They're still crib booties. And they're also very stylish because it's just like a little person putting on his regular Converse's with the laces. Everything's the same. The all-star is here. There's no like extra material on the inside. So it's like a real shoe, just not, it's just not hard bottom. So yes. This is his shoe. Don't judge me, I didn't know. I just find this really cool. And they slide out, very convenient, it's so convenient. And it's also cute to like just hang up, like when he doesn't fit this anymore, we can always just hang it up in the closet or like kind of decorate his room in some way if we wanted to have a shoe wall or something in the future, which we might. It would be a good like aesthetic to the room. I just like it cause you could see it. You could see the sneaker. Six, the Air Force Ones for my baby boy. So cute. Look at how it looks in the box. Very, 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 very cute. These are also in size three. Again, I, all right, I'm gonna tell you this, right? I looked up, I Googled how to measure your child's feet so that I would know what size to buy for my son because I, I don't know. I've never done this before, right? When you start to question shit, you Google, you you'll Google it too, and sometimes 
follow whatever you see on Google. So that's what I did. I took my measuring tape, I measured my child's feet, and then I was just like, oh, it's close to a size three. When we got these, I was all excited. First of all, these look like moon shoes on him right now because it's not his size. I believe he still fits a 1C or a 2C. And he's not gonna fit this for about another month or two. You know what the classical Air Force ones look like. These are a little more hard on the bottom than the other one, but it's okay because it's still like very bendable. You see that? It's not real sturdy or nothing like, it's not real sturdy like the normal shoe, the regular shoe that most of us would buy and put on. They also have laces, except it's just an illusion. It's an elastic to make it look like it has laces, but for him to just like slip on. Of course, it's cute, but as long as the illusion is there. You know, you have some crib booties that are literally just slip on and it just messes up the whole ideal of getting them the sneaker, right? So... This doesn't do that. It has the holes in the front on the toe box. And the only difference is the front of these Air Force Ones, they have stars. And I don't remember if the original Air Force Ones have stars on them. I think they just do that, you know, just to decorate for the babies, which is really cute. So yes, he has his little pair of Air Force Ones. I wanted these so bad for him now that I think I'm gonna have to dip in some cash and get my baby the size that actually fits him because I have so I had so many ideas for this. You just put that in and just slide the box when you don't need it and again like these are so cute to me like so so cute. I wish the adult size boxes came in something like this where you could like style up your closet real nice but I think I have some ideas for my baby's closet looking at this stuff. We'll see. I can't make no promises but We'll see. These pair of Jordans that I got for my baby when they came out, um, I got them in a 5C. And I know what you're thinking, right? 5C is mad big, Sadia. Like, your baby's only, like, still a newborn. What are you doing? I don't know. You know, just my standard of buying things for my child. I feel that when it comes to sneakers like this, like sneakers that really make a statement or sneakers that are really high in fashion or whatever the case may be i want to get him those sneakers in a size where he can wear them more often than now so if i get him sneakers within these months right now they'll they'll be very temporary like they'll fit him for like maybe a week or two and then he'll grow out of it or maybe the most a month and then he'll grow out of it grow out of it whereas these sneakers being that it's a 5C, so I plan, I figured he'll start wearing these just before, just before or after he turns one, which is okay, because then by then, I won't have to go so hard in buying him sneakers. And I'm buying what I like to see now on his feet. Like, if I feel like, oh, these sneakers are very good, they're very durable, they'll be sturdy for him or whatever, or just really cute in the future, I'm getting them for him. Like, I don't care, it's my money and I'm gonna get my son whatever the hell I want. I just know that I'm kind of being rational about the stuff that I want to get him. So yes, these are in a 5C and these are the sixes that came out. I can't remember the name for these, but these were the ones that came out with the black gold. So cute. And I cannot, I cannot wait. Like, it's so crazy because I'm already planning on <laughs> the outfits he'll be wearing by the time these come out, but I feel like I'm doing too much, so I'ma just wait. I just know that he has these, and I'm so ready for him to put them on. But of course, he can't fit them right now, so yes, these are what they look like. Y'all know, y'all probably seen them on people's feet. So darn cute, and good enough, he's gonna have more coming and more sneakers either in his current size or just sneakers that i might just be saving off into the future so i just want my son to look good and if i feel like these sneakers look really really nice like they're worth putting my hard-earned money into i'm gonna buy it for him and he's gonna look good he's coming like a regular packaging like if he was like a grown man getting his own sneakers right so it has the gold jump in in the front 
most of the lettering and stuff is in gold and he just flips it open but even still it's really cute because i like the whole black box idea the whole black boxing of it so it's also really cute a really cute aesthetic and that friends is all that i have for today for this haul thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video give me a thumbs up um if you want to comment and you know give feedback on anything i've mentioned or answer any of the questions i even asked feel free to be in the comments because you know we're friends now and i can take your advice when i'm giving you advice too like i am so open to conversation so just please like let's get into the comments and have a party or whatever thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel thank you all and welcome 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 to my world of imperfection love and positivity and all things that are me thank you if you haven't subscribed look you made it this far you might as well just subscribe and just join the game like just be a part like it's lit on this side okay if you like videos like this like me showing the baby clothing and shoe haul or just things that i get from my baby in general please comment that as well i will have a clothing haul myself coming up i will have other videos coming up of course so stay tuned and i will see you soon peace out Bye. Bye.